Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we are shooting something very cool. Now you might think this is just a 2019 Bullet Mustang, but it's not just a Bullet Mustang. This is the Steve McQueen edition, which Steeda has done. Steeda paired up with Chad McQueen, the son of the original bad boy, and they've created this. There's a lot of upgrades they've done to just the Bullet Mustang, including a massive Whipple charger on here, which this car goes from producing mid 500 horsepower to 775 horsepower. This car is actually making more power than the modern GT500, which in my opinion is extremely impressive. So along with the additional horsepower, you get a short throw shifter, clutch spring assist, the wheels on here are Steve McQueen edition one-offs, which is a 20 by 10 front, 20 by 11 rear with Steve McQueen edition center caps. It comes stock running Nitto tires, the high performance tire with a 275, 35, 20 front and a 315, 35, 20 rear. I love that they've gone to a 315 rear. You're gonna need the grip with that much power. Now to also to deal with the power, you can't leave everything stock as far as suspension, subframe, all the different elements on the chassis. So there's a lot of upgrades that have happened here. It's got front and rear sway bars with welded in place, solid billet ends, billet aluminum front and rear sway bar mounts, IRS subframe bushing support system, IRS subframe alignment kit, support brace, dual rate ultimate handling springs, a bump steer kit, performance tuned struts and shocks, as well as billet aluminum vertical links. Now they didn't stop there, right? You've got to do some extra special stuff on the interior. This can't be just a Ford made bullet Mustang. It's the Steve McQueen edition. So on the interior, there's a Steve McQueen edition door sill plates. There's Steve McQueen edition dashboard serialization plate, along with Steve McQueen edition floor mats. And I love that they're numbering these cars. This is, this is predictably, I would say, a future collectible car here. Keep the mileage down, keep the car clean. Predictably, it's a future collectible. Personally, I love, I absolutely love the wheel configuration on this car. It would have been easy to go with something else, but this, really brings you back to, and obviously it's a very different car than what happened in 1968, but for the 50th anniversary of the Bullet movie, that Ford did this car and that Steeda has taken an already great car and taken it to a whole new level is incredibly cool. Hard to tell back here, you know, it's tucked pretty tightly in there with super, super, super tight clearance, but you got a big Brembo brake package on here which I'm a massive fan of Brembo uh, and any car that makes this kind of power, I definitely want some serious stopping power. And I love that when you get into the interior here, you've got Recaros, man. You've got seats that are gonna have, it's not radical bolstering. This isn't a track car, but you could actually go track and enjoy this car and you're gonna be able to be planted in the seat here. Color is just perfection on this, right? It, I mean, it really does They've done their best, in my opinion, to bring forth the feel of what happened with the 68 Mustang that obviously got known in 69 for the movie Bullet. Some other things to point out on here that are just radical, I think, for a modern car. Number one, look at this front splitter. I mean, that thing is just massive. If you lowered this car, I think you'd be just constantly ripping this up, but who cares, man? That is badass on this car. It doesn't have a wing, which is, you know, some people like wings, some people don't. I'm one of the guys that actually really does like wings, but I'm okay with it being like this. But tell me this isn't cool. Just seeing this right here, seeing that bullet emblem, man, it just brings you back to a time. For any of us that are old enough to remember that movie, Steve McQueen is the iconic bad boy and that they've decided to commemorate this car is, is, is just awesome. Ooh. So a couple things I want to point out in the engine bay here that we already kind of went over. Obviously, the bigger supercharger. I didn't get specs on it, so I actually don't know the size of this one, but I know it bumps it from 
There's a Steeda version of this car making 550 horsepower, which is a subtle upgrade from the, the one that comes straight from Ford. And then there's this one, the big bad boy, the bigger blower, the different size pulleys, as well as a much thicker, gnarlier belt to deal with the additional power. Just cool, cool touches. It seems like there was a lot of thought that went into this car. It wasn't just throw it together and call it bullet and start selling them. And this one is number 14 out of 300. And I think it's time to go find out what this bad boy does. So let's go for a drive. Yeah, I was just looking up, trying to figure out what the pricing is on this car. The Steeda upgrade to do the basic package that they're doing, which brings it up to 550 horsepower, is uh, about an additional $23,000. What it costs to go to this length, I don't know. I couldn't find a price on it. But I did see one for sale that was pricing it at about right around $97,000 for the one that's for sale, which considering what you're getting here is a lot of, it's a lot of car. It really is. Let's see how much car. Wow. Okay. Yep. It definitely feels like a 700 plus horsepower car. Well, the layout in this interior is just really nice. I got to admit, and I absolutely love the tack. Oh, is this thing auto rev matching? I think it's auto rev matching. I don't have to heel toe it. But I love the tack, how it goes halfway around and then it goes straight across. That's a really cool design. So I'm gonna downshift and see if it auto rev matches. Sure does. I'm sure there's probably some way to turn that off if you wanted, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a little lazy and let it let it auto rev match for me. you guys that is it for our shoot of this 2019 bullet mustang steve mcqueen edition from steeda this thing is completely badass i mean the color's right the wheels are right the stance the big brembo brake package the additional power all the suspension it's set up to drive this is this is set up to drive i would love to have spent the rest of the day driving this car because the little bit i got to drive it it was just wonderful so that's it for today. Thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. You know I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.